okay, so you've got your Google Classroom set up, your kids are in it, you're ready to go. Maybe you need a refresher on um, how to add stuff. Maybe you've used part of it, but there are some other features that you're ready to try out. So let me show you all three of them. We're going to look at what they call materials, assignment, and um, adding a question, which you might know is one of my favorites. I'm going to come back to my classes and go to my fakie class. When you go to classwork, you have a lot of options to create. First of all, reusing posts. If you have stuff from last spring in your classroom, this might be super helpful for you. Um, if you want to give a quiz, a quiz is going to, um, well, play with it and see. Today, I'm going to show you material, assignment, and then question. Material used to be called announcement, so sometimes I say announcement by accident. This is a great way for you to um, share links. This might be what you want to use for your daily agenda. You might want to, today is Monday, April 20th, 2020. Here are your goals for today. And maybe this is where you want to list that um, today's learning plan. Keep in mind, it's not just academic. We don't want to overwhelm with academic. Um, we also want to give them some movement goals, some wellness goals, some communicating and connecting kind of goals. So um, this might be the things I always think of, the things that you do naturally in the classroom when your students are right in front of you, you're naturally connecting with them. You know after this much time I'm going to need to get them up and moving. So these are things that teachers do without even necessarily thinking about it. So shifting to distance learning, we need to make those ideas really intentional and um, tell students, I don't expect you to be sitting at the computer for three hours today. That's not healthy. Um, <laughs> that's not what we want to do. Although, anyways, I'll not go there. <laughs> um, so anyways, this might be a place to um, hear your goals for today. And then maybe... Um, you can add, let's look at some of the things you can add. You can add a web link. Um, you can add a file that you might have to attach. You can add something from your Google Drive. You can add a video from YouTube. Maybe that's where your movement comes in. Maybe here's a movement video from YouTube. Maybe it's a watch this. Um, but this is basically when you need to give information, but they don't have to turn anything back in. They don't need to connect anything. Um, you're just... It's almost, well, not really a one way, but it's um, it's you giving information, sharing materials, sharing task lists, all that kind of thing. The thing that you can do, um, first of all, I can assign this to selective students. If you're trying to figure out how you're going to differentiate for some of your students, it's right here. Test user three, that's the one that needs some enrichment. I'm going to send that student or that group of students this level of assignment. I'm going to send this group that level. That may not be where you want to go the first week, but that might be something you want to think of down the line. Okay, so you choose who it's assigned to. Um, I heard a suggestion. If you want to create a topic and call it week one distance learning. Um, I was going to put 420. That's going to make everyone laugh. Anyways, you might want to label your, your topics by week to help students sort. The other thing you can do is you can schedule it. Okay, You can save a draft. If I'm not ready to post this yet, I'm just going to save it as a draft. And I've got it right down here. Okay, So let's see. Can I move that? Yes. So when I come down, I just go here and I'm ready to edit it and I'm ready to assign it. Okay, so you can get some of these things started without them showing yet. Just save them all in drafts. If you were in our March buyback day training, um, we had all those assignments and announcements that we are materials that we linked throughout the training. We just had those all saved in drafts so that we could go in and assign them when the time was right. But for you, you might want to schedule it. Okay, you can come in and go, okay, this is the work that I want to show on April 20th at 9 o'clock. And I can just schedule that. And now it's going to tell me when I look down here, this is scheduled, this assignment is scheduled for April 20th. So, um, so you have that option too. But that's basically the, um, the materials. Now, I want you to know if you have comments on, and we talked about this in a different video right here, 
I was in, hang on, I went too fast. I was in the settings wheel, and then in the stream, students can only comment. As soon as I put this up, I move me. I'm just going to turn me off. You don't need to see me anymore, right? Okay. So, um, oh, I scheduled it, of course. Well, let me give you an example. Let's say this was that daily agenda. I can put a question there. Students can reply in the comments. So it is kind of interactive. Tell me what you're up to today. How are you feeling today? Just to check in. Um, what's something you did over the weekend or yesterday that was really um, fun? Whatever. You can have your class comments here that they can post. Okay? So that's how materials work. Now assignment might be one that you're familiar with already. Okay, so let's say I want my students to create a slide project of, um, I'm going to call it art slides. This is going to be the name of the file. So when students make the file, it's going to be named art slides dash their name. So I'm going to say, please go to Google Arts and Culture and choose two pieces of work from the whatever you get the idea from a museum choose two pieces of work and then tell me whatever what the colors tell you about the mood I don't know um, you can add a link but what we're gonna do is I want them to make use Google slides so I'm gonna of course, that would be a more robust assignment that I would uh, explain better. But in any case, the point of the assignment is there's something that the students are going to attach and turn in. So it's going to create a file. Maybe it could be a PDF. It could be all kinds of things, but it's going to have a file that they're going to turn in. Again, I can choose the students it goes to. I'm not going to grade this. Um, it doesn't have a due date. And I'm going to assign it. Now this could be, I'm going to save the draft. It's the same features. I'm going to schedule it for a certain time. Oops. I'm going to click where I don't want to click. I'm just going to assign it. Okay. And that's going to show in the stream right away. It's right here. Okay. And I'm going to go back um, on Make a Student video to show students how to respond to a materials post, how to assign to an, or respond to an assignment. But the last one I want to show you, since this is getting a little long, I want to show you in classroom the question. This is one of my favorites, and I think it would be really useful um, in this distant learning time because the question gets feedback. It's specific to a student. It's private, or it can be, so it doesn't need to be for everyone to see their response, but it doesn't create a separate file. So sometimes I think we choose assignments and have them create a doc, like for a journal prompt, but they don't really need a doc for the journal prompt. They just need um, they just need a question. So for this question, I'm going to call it April 20 question of the day, just to make it kind of light and silly. How many things can you think of that are purple? Okay, and that's just going to be a short answer question. Same features over here. I want to make it, un, excuse me, ungraded. I don't want it to have a due date. Now look at down here. Students can reply to each other. In this case, once a student answers the question, they're going to see, they'll submit and then see, do you want to see what your classmate said? And they can say yes and go see everyone else's re replies. And then they can have a conversation. That is super appropriate for certain kinds of questions. Okay. There are going to be some that might be a little more private that you don't want students to reply to and see. But content questions, you're asking a question about what you're teaching in science. You want them to see how each other are thinking and reply to each other and kind of build on, build on the thinking. So the question has a lot, a lot of potential. I'm going to go ahead, same options as always, but I'm going to go ahead and ask this one. OK, and now when I come to the stream, I see my question. It's got that question icon. I see my assignment that has the clipboard, and then my materials post I scheduled, but it would look like this. Okay? So that is how you would program in materials posts, assignments, and questions. I'm going to make some student videos to show how to respond, how students do that. My hope there is that if you have a student who's having trouble, 
you can send the video to them to show them here's how you respond to a question and that might help maybe they know but their family um, wants to see also their parents are trying to help them so that you'll have that resource to send to them and then I'm going to make a different video showing you once your students have submitted how do you get in here and see their work how do you respond to that all right so that's what I've got for you to start out